guys, it's Mike and welcome to Auto Vlog. Today we have the brand new 2016 Ford Fiesta ST. So with no further ado, let's take a look at the uh, car and some of the upgrades for 2016 and as well take it for a test drive. So here it is, the 2016 Ford Fiesta ST. One you see here is in a color that is new for 2016. It is the magnetic. Looks more like or similar to a gunmetal gray. Very nice color that not sure why it hasn't previously been available for the ST, but it sure looks good in this color. As we take take a look at the grill here, you see the ST emblem of course being a ST stands for sport technologies as we walk around the car here there hasn't been any facelifts or anything like that for 2016 they look the same as the previous year although these radar wheels they're 17 inch they were previously a option. They are now standard, along with the red brake calibers. Nice look, a gray on gray look. As we move along to the back end here, you see the dual exhaust pipes. The spoiler on top of the hatch here. We have the SD emblem as well. As all Fords, we have the capless fuel tank system. Basically no cap at all, you just stick the nozzle in there. There's a locking mechanism that prevents people from actually getting any gas out of gas tank just a very convenient feature NASCAR inspired this focus ST here is one of the base models here it does not have the Recaro package or a navigation system or anything like that so very nice price tag for a brand new car of this caliber with the performance that you actually get in an ST along with very good gas mileage. The key fob looks like this. It's a smart key access fob. Lock button or unlock button, lock button and your hatch release. Pops the hatch there. And as you can see, you can fold the seats down. You have a little cover here, which is removable. All in all, you have 10.1 cubic feet of cargo space in the trunk. A little handle right there to close it. Now having smart key access, you have a sensor that sits right there. Put your thumb on it and it locks the car. Your thumb on it again and it unlocks. I'm going to take a look at the interior here shortly. Now, what powers the Ford Fiesta ST is a 1.6 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine with 197 horsepower and 202 pound feet of torque, along with a six speed manual transmission. The Fiestas are only available in a manual. Now the headlights here are halogen projector headlights, fog lights as well. Nice turn signals in the side mirrors.
can't remember if I mentioned or not, but as an auction for 2016, you can get black painted wheels. Just the same wheels as this, but they're black painted along with the red brake calipers. Haven't seen those yet, but that is a nice upgrade to the Ford Fiesta, just giving it a different look. So what we're gonna do here is just jump inside the car. Okay. See the nice door sill plate here. ST badge. Nothing special about the uh, door here. You got actually very soft cloth material here. Nice to rest your arm on. Power windows, power mirrors. And we have the cloth ST seats, the ST badge in the middle. Modest amount of space uh, for rear passengers, especially if someone, let's say my size, is driving. I'm six foot two. I do have a 12 volt back here though. Seats fold down. Fold the headrest first. Put on the clutch. <laughs> Push button start. So we're going to jump right to it here. New feature for 2016 is the SYNC 3 infotainment system. The Ford Escape and the Ford Fiesta were actually the first models to have SYNC 3 available. I have a separate video that is showing basically the functionality of the SYNC 3 infotainment system. Provide a link right there for you guys to check that out more in depth, but just to um, Give you a quick little preview here you have your menu bar is right underneath here so right now we're at audio get the sony stereo system and a fiesta st you have your phone button right there to add your phone or sync your phone you have your apps menu you don't have any apps synced up right now settings for sound clock as you can see this is European inspired almost 14 19 1400 hours 19 minutes so we can actually just change that show you how easy that is I'm gonna do a 12 hour format otherwise it's very responsive Acts pretty much like a uh, smart tablet, as you can you can pinch and zoom and swipe. Just very nice functionality of the Sync 3 system. Now, being an ST, as I mentioned, you get the Sony stereo system. Pretty simple climate controls here. I actually wish that I could blast the air in here because it's very hot outside today but I know it sounds like a uh, tornado but as I mentioned just very easy to uh, maneuver here where you want the fan to blow you have your just you know the temperature the middle here to the left tachometer Speedometer. I mean, it looks nice. It's nothing super fancy, but I like the little 
uh, red details and numbers here for the kilometers per hour and then you have the miles per hour in white screen in the middle here your information screen is toggled through by clicking that button right there on the turn signal lever so you have your miles per gallon average miles per gallon average miles per hour this car has 18 miles on it 36 miles to empty tank and so on the steering wheel has the ST badge on the bottom it's not a flat bottom steering wheel in my opinion a pretty big steering wheel for a small car like this but you have your cruise control settings here your voice activation settings here, volume. You can toggle between uh, presets and radio stations or answer your phone or hang up your phone. Show you a little preview here. Put the voice or press the voice activation button. Please say a command. Sirius Howard Stern. Tuning to Howard Stern. It's a, it's a blessing, yeah. It really is crazy that yeah. that happened. And Hunger Games, you were just very nice, user-friendly system. You can toggle between different sources here. You have a sound button here if you just want to, you know, change the bass, treble of those kind of settings. Or you can just go here, go serious. I like the air vents on the ST, they're nice. We've got seven standard airbags and a Ford Fiesta. Side curtain airbags. We have a sunroof. Have your little mic here for whenever your phone is synced up. Vanity mirrors on both sides. Six speed manual transmission where reverse is. to the right. Just very easy to uh, maneuver. You have a 12 volt right here. It is equipped with uh, ambient lighting. You can change the colors with that button right there. You can hardly see it in daylight, but here you can see it change from red, blue, yellow, darker blue, purple or pink. Two USB ports and the armrest. So for any media device or anything that you want to plug into your car here, the ST can definitely handle it. On the side here you have interior dimming. Can't really see much of that either in daylight here. Your light switch. Automatic lights pull out for the fog light. Your mirror is right here, and all Fords come with a blind spot mirror on both sides. Very nice safety feature for someone like me who's many times lazy. I don't turn my head when I switch lanes, so it's just very nice to have a overview of your blind spot at all times. Okay, so if you guys are okay with it, we are now going to go on a test drive. The all-new 
2016 Ford Fiesta ST. I do love this car because it feels like you're driving a go-kart. It's a 2,700 pound car with 197 horsepower and 202 pound-feet of torque out of a 1.6 cylinder four, no, 1.6 liter four cylinder engine. Turbocharged, obviously. Driving down a windy road here. Again, the feeling that I get is, it's, it's like a go-kart feeling because it's so easy to handle and it's so much fun. But you don't need a whole bunch of horsepower in a small car like this. And funny enough, I mean, inside the cockpit here, if you want to call it that, it's very roomy. I mean, I'm six foot two. As you can see here, I know the sun's pouring in here and there, but it's a roomy car. I got plenty of leg room up here. Uh, back there is, is, you know, that's another story. But we are going to make a left turn here. And then see what happens here. All right, let's go, buddy. Still sounds better than an EcoBoost Mustang. <laughs> And I keep bitching about that EcoBoost Mustang, but I just don't understand how can they make a Focus ST uh, and a Fiesta ST sound so much better than an EcoBoost Mustang, which is a great car. I'm not knocking the car in, as a whole, but just the way that it sounds. And then you get into something, I know it's all sound enchantment, that's all what it's about, but why can't they make the sound enchantment and chance meant sound good in an EcoBoost Mustang like they do in a Fiesta ST. I just don't get it. It is so weird. And even people that own an EcoBoost Mustang, I mean, I don't. I mean, I drive them uh, pretty frequently uh, because, you know, I work at a dealership, but even people that own them are like, well, what the heck? That's the one thing that they complain about is the sound. So, but again, like I said, and, and if you guys saw that, my uh, Focus ST video that I did a uh, couple weeks back here uh, when I was bitching about the EcoBoost Mustang like I am now this video is not about the EcoBoost Mustang it is about the new 2016 Ford Fiesta ST so no Recaro seats it has the the uh, regular cloth seats which in my opinion are just fine I mean it's they're they're nice they're comfortable um, the Recaro seats in a, in a Fiesta ST, they're, in my opinion, they feel even tighter than they do in a Focus ST. And in an ST1 package of the Focus ST, you can't get the uh, infotainment system, which you can now get in, uh, or you could before as well, but in the 2016 Fiesta ST, you do get the infotainment system that is no longer my Ford Touch. It is the new Sync 3 infotainment system which in my opinion is so much better. A lot of people, or some people will complain and say it doesn't look as good as my 4Touch. But the user friendliness uh, outweighs the way it looks. That's my opinion. So this Fiesta ST here that I'm driving today is in the uh, color Magnetic, which is new for 2016. It was uh, not previously available, which I don't really know why, because it is a great looking color. It looks good on most of the Fords out there. Um, it's the same color as the Focus ST that I reviewed a couple weeks back, and uh, just a nice upgrade. Now, 
This one has the gray Rado wheels, which is now standard. Another option for 2016 is that you can get black painted wheels with the red brake calipers. But this one looks good, gray on gray. Turn on to the highway here. Oh, it sits so good in the... Straight to six gear. I'm all about acceleration. I'm not about driving fast or anything like that. Sit good in the Fiesta ST too. I mean, the, steer the steering wheel, I don't know. Somehow I feel like it. it's just a little bit too big for the car. That might just be me, I don't know, but it's slightly weird shape to it. But all in all, I mean, when you buy a Fiesta ST, you buy it because you love to drive. And I mean, how many other cars do you get that has the amount of fun in the driving experience, the sound, and then also you get 36 miles per gallon on the highway? I mean, it's great. Okay, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I had a lot of fun in this Ford Fiesta. I love this car. Uh, please let me know what you think of this 2016 Ford Fiesta ST. And if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button for future reviews like this. Until next time, bye-bye.